You've probably heard of the law of attraction or karma. This fundamental truth, you don't attract what you want. You attract who you are. Maybe you think it could be true or maybe you think it's absolute bullshit. But I listened to this audio called Your Wish Is Your Command. It's a recording of a two day lecture. I'll link to Spotify in the description. And in that audio, when he said this number one goal that should be on our minds all the time, I was like, whoa, this is absolute gold. Whether you believe in the law of attraction or not, this goal just makes sense to anyone or everyone. Because in the end, we all want the same feeling. We want to feel good. So our number one goal, he says, is to feel good now, or at least feel a little better than we do now. I never realized this should be a goal or a priority, but it makes sense. Why is feeling good now so important? Positive thoughts attract more positive thoughts while negative thoughts attract more negative thoughts. You've probably noticed this to be true in your experience. I know it's certainly true for me. So if we practice feeling good now, or at least feeling a little better, we'll have fewer negative thoughts and more positive thoughts. And this will lead us to an upward spiral of feeling better and better over time. I've read that happiness is when most of your thoughts are pleasant. And I think that's so true. No matter our current current situation. If our thoughts are mostly pleasant, we'll feel good. So how do we do this? How do we feel good now or at least feel a little better? We have to do things that all add up to our well-being. Listening to music releases dopamine in your brain, lifts your mood, decreases anxiety, reduces loneliness, it's almost like a wonder drug. You can look up the scientific papers online. Going outside for a walk is another wonder drug. The human brain operates best with our feet moving, sun in our face, and eyes moving from left to right. Go outside. This is true. I've heard from Huberman that looking left to right, which we do naturally as we walk, suppresses the amygdala. We suppress activity of the amygdala through physical action of moving forward, and there's a signal sent to the areas of the brain that control dopamine reward. Those reward centers then trigger the release of dopamine to reward forward effort in the face of stress or threat. So when you hear about people saying, look, take some physical action when you're feeling exhausted, take some forward physical action when you're feeling overwhelmed by this traumatic experience. Now that could be in the form of a walk, it's really forward movement, action, pushing yourself across that threshold, not only rewards you, but it suppresses activity of the fear centers in the brain. And these are ancient hardwired mechanisms. These aren't hacks. I started doing this walking for an hour while listening to this audio I mentioned, and I'm trying to do it almost every day. I smile and nod at everyone I pass by. Some of them don't look at me or are stone faced when they do, but many of them nod and smile back. I feel better after my walk. Another thing to feel better is to eat healthy food because our body and brain is affected by what we eat. That's a whole rabbit hole in itself, which I'm I'm not gonna get into about what kind of food to eat and all that. Make an effort to meet friends or make friends. We're meant to be in relationship and community with others. Become an initiator of people coming together and things happening. Because the modern world is designed from the ground up to keep you inside. We technically don't have to leave the house ever, so a lot of us don't and our lives pass us by. I'm currently struggling with this one. I constantly have to remind myself to reach out to friends to meet up with them because my default state is just to be home all the time. And lastly, being thankful, grateful, appreciative of what we have. In the audio, your wish is your command. He says, when you wake up and before you sleep, ask yourself, what am I thankful for? I'm struggling to make this a habit, but I do this whenever I remember it. I'm thankful I have a comfortable bed to sleep in. I'm thankful I can breathe through my nose without congestion because in high school, my nose was completely blocked and it was so uncomfortable to put it mildly. I'm thankful I can walk. I'm thankful for my pets. There's just so much to be thankful for, but I just think of one thing that I'm thankful for when I remember to do so. This is a hard habit to ingrain for me. To those of you who believe the law of attraction, the more thankful you are, the more you attract things that make you thankful, and the more you feel good, the more you'll attract things that make you feel good. But even if you don't believe in that, listen to music you love, dance and sing to it, go for a walk, eat healthy, 
meet friends, ask yourself what you're thankful for, say or do something nice for someone, and accept the present moment without resisting. Eckhart Tolle talks so much about that last point. If you do this, your positive thoughts will grow and you'll be on an upward trajectory. Your goal is to feel good now or at least feel a little better. I found this out three days ago and I'm trying to make it a mantra for me. It's especially tough when I'm doing tasks I hate or I'm resentful, but I'm going to keep working on this. I hope you found this helpful. I certainly have.